Hey hey, welcome back to another guide of mine. This time I'm going to show you how to install 7 Days to Die Rebirth version 2.x meaning it should be compatible for any 2.0 through 2.3 stable version of 7 Days to Die. I just want to do a quick shout out to Ferris Ramsey and his team. Thank you guys and gals for your hard work and dedication to bringing this alive to the community. Alright, we're just going to go ahead and dive right in. If you do want to bypass Discord, you can use the link I am providing in the description below. It looks like Blue Fang Solutions is hosting the Rebirth mod downloads, so go ahead and check that out. But if you have trust issues like me on clicking links, then you'll need to go through Ferris Ramsey's Discord channel. Alright, once you're in Ferris Ramsey's Discord channel, you do want to make sure that you are in the download-2-x section. All right, and if you scroll down, you should see the full mod section right here and the Google Drive sections right here, all right? And if you click on any of these links, it will prompt you to download the mods. And if you do want to download the mods from the Blue Fang Solutions, the link is down here below. Okay, while we are waiting on the mods to download, we're gonna go ahead and make sure we have the correct version of Seven Days to Die. And to do that, we just need to simply go to our Steam library. Okay. And we just need to find the game. Right click onto that bad boy. And we need to go to properties. Right click properties. And then here we go to betas. And then make sure you're on version 2.3 or 2.2, 2.1, 2.0. I believe it works for all these other versions, but just for this video sakes and demo. We're just going to be going with 2.3 stable, okay? All right, and once you do click on it, if you're not on this version already, it's going to go ahead and download and update it to 2.3 stable version. All right, once you do have that, we just close that out. Now we need to go to the file location for 7 Days to Die. We just need to simply right click on 7 Days to Die game and go to Manage and then go to Browse Local Files. All righty. And this is where the fun begins, right? And if you have a existing mods folder right here with a bunch of other mods, I already downloaded Rebirth mod, but go ahead and disregard this. But if you do have a mods folder with a bunch of mods ready, you do want to rename this folder to something else. Uh, in my case, I like to keep them organized, so I'm gonna call this Rebirth uh, 2.4, just for the sakes. And then you simply need to make a new mods folder. Just right click and mods, capital M, lowercase ods, okay? All right, and then just make sure this is empty. And yes, it is. All right, and then we're gonna go simply go to our downloads folder where we downloaded the Rebirth Experimental 2.4 version. And once we extract it all, it's going to ask us where we do we want to extract it. You can extract it in the downloads folder and then copy and paste over the files. But just for this sakes, I'm going to copy the path. Right, and I'm just going to copy this path where all the mods folder is. And we're going to click into that folder. And we're going to file, copy that path. And we're going to choose this. And once you hit extract, it's going to do its thing. Yep, and it's going to go straight in there. All right, but yep, choose whatever method you want to move these files over. There's not a wrong way or right way to do about it. Okay, once you have all the mods downloaded, it should look like this. You should have TFP Harmony, uh, Azaleo's Weapon Rack Remastered. I love this mod, by the way. Um, and a bunch of other mods, but this is what it should look like. All right, and once you have all that in there, we're ready to launch the game. I'll see you guys there. And I do want to note that you do need to disable easy anti-cheat. Otherwise, it's going to tell you the mods are not compatible and you need to disable easy anti-cheat anyways. So we're going to launch game without easy anti-cheat. Okay, we are right in. All right, and there's a lot to read here from Fierce Ramsey. Go ahead and read that at your own discretion. But we're going to click to continue and we are in and then we're just going to go ahead and make a new game real quick and we're going to rename this to rebirth um, 2.4 okay i have no idea what happened but i went afk and now i'm dead is this what seven days to die is all about oh 
We get a pet Romeo. What? Okay, nice, nice. Well, this is how you know that the mod is working because I launched it. And if it does work for me, it should work for you. And anyways, I hope this has helped and enjoy. Consider liking, subscribing to help me out with YouTube's algorithm. And I hope you have a great rest of your day and night. Cheers. Yeah, get him, Romeo. Come on, let's go mess him up. Oh, there's a horde. There's a horde. We'll take you on. It's so nice that it's running on 2.0 now. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to get the freak out of here. All right, see you guys. Bye-bye.